respect and value yourself. That's the conversation we're going to have here today on Self Love Monday. How you guys doing? This is Ronson Five Myers, author, podcaster, and your uplifting life partner. Now, this conversation comes into play because I was actually had picked up a young lady on, on an Uber ride, and um, it was like three o'clock in the morning, and we were having this conversation. You could tell she had a couple of drinks because she all actually ended up repeating some of the same things over and over. You know how that goes. Uh, for those of you who don't know, when people are drinking, they'll tell you the same story three or four times. Um, but anyway, but the bottom line is her conversation just hit me because there's so many uh, ladies that I've, that, that, that I've talked to that are in this situation. And... Um, and hopefully uh, you'll get something out of this and start to look at your life in a different way. Um, again, I'm not here to judge. I'm just here to ask you to look at your, your situation a little bit differently and maybe decide if you're actually following the best possible path for yourself. But anyway, uh, one of the things that she was talking about is this guy, she was kept calling him saying he's stupid. He doesn't respect her. Um, and then she also shared the fact with me that all of her friends hate this guy. And um, matter of fact, uh, when I picked her up, one of her friends was actually there at the gate when I picked her up. And again, like I said, it was like 3 o'clock in the morning. And you could tell her friend was hot. And um, she wasn't even happy to say bye or anything. So I was like, wow. you know. So obviously uh, her friend wasn't too fond of this trip that she was about to take. And um, so she was sharing with me different things about this gentleman as we were driving. And of course, like she said, he's stupid, you know, and again, I'm not here to put labels on people, but I will look at your situation, your actions, I should say. And it determines on whether I would personally have a relationship with you based on those actions, but I don't want to put tags on people. Um, there are things that we do you can label as maybe stupid, which I don't, like I said, use the word. But um, I wouldn't, wouldn't put that tag on the person themselves. But anyway, what she did is she was telling me about how um, as we were going, he had actually ordered the Uber originally. And then he canceled it. And she said, who would do that? Why would your boyfriend cancel the ride on you okay I'm thinking well maybe because of your boyfriend <laughs> has different plans with a different girlfriend or something else or drinking or whatever it is he's gonna do but maybe you weren't in that plan and um, and so that's why he canceled but bottom line it doesn't matter why but the bottom line he canceled it so she reorders it herself and that's why she's heading over here at 3 o'clock in the morning she done reordered the uh, ride. Now, I don't know if some of it is due to the fact that he does disrespect, which I'm pretty sure he does based on what I got. But anyway, um, but I'm like, how much is that that she's putting out there? Because one, like I said, you could tell she had a couple of drinks. And then for the fact that she's willing to, to, to go over there after he's canceled the ride and for her to reorder and go, I'm going to go anyway. And, and I'm going to, we going to have a conversation when I get there and he going to pay for it and all this kind of stuff. And I'm like, Oh no. And then she shared with me that, uh, last week he ordered it. I mean that she actually ordered it, but he told her he was going to pay her back and it was a $60 ride and he didn't pay her back. Okay. He didn't pay her back from last week's ride. He canceled this week's ride. She reorders the ride. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. You're still going to go over this guy's house. I'm, I'm not sure if, for me, I look at it as you don't respect yourself. And because you guys have heard me talk about that before. I had, I, when I've had people tell me they wanted me to help them get a friend or family member out of a relationship and they'll go because the guy doesn't respect them or the guy's a bad guy and this and that. And, and I'll tell them, I said, well, basically that's the right person for your family or friend. And, and they get upset. Like I would have said that about her. I would have been like, well, he's the right guy for her. And I know her friends would have been upset if I said that to them. But the reality is I would have said, but he's not the problem. And that's really what I'm getting to here. He's not the problem. When she learns to value herself, 
she's not going to put up with a guy who does, you guys follow me? She's not going to be in a relationship like that, a guy that doesn't honor her. That's why you guys keep hearing me talking about it's self-love Monday. It's about learning to love you because you're not going to allow people to treat you any way they want to because you learn to value you. But that's just kind of like the beginning of it. You know, uh, I'll share a couple more things. Uh, as we talked, she was saying how um, she called him a couple of times, telling him she was on the way. Where where you at? Are you tracking me? You know, this kind of stuff. And he hung up on her a couple of times when she called. And again, I'm not sure if that is, as she said, wow, he doesn't respect me. And, and how could you do this to your girlfriend? Or it's because she was intoxicated and he's just like, you know. And those of you who've never been around people that drink a lot, uh, yeah. But he still was putting up with her and still allowed her to come over. So obviously it was okay. Maybe he just, he's like, I ain't going to talk to her. You know, she's coming over for, we all know she ain't coming over to watch TV. But um, I know some people go, well, that could be, yeah, 3 o'clock in the morning. That's not, that's not a good thing to do at 3 o'clock in the morning and you've been drinking, talking about you're going over to somebody's house and watch TV. Um, and that's one of those things where I tell young ladies, do not put yourself in those situations because then all of a sudden, if that is your intent, for real, you got to think about what are you telling the person whose house you're coming over at 3 o'clock in the morning? What is their thought process? And for, for most guys, now there may be, may be some exceptions to the rule, which I know there is for everything. Most guys, if you come over to my house at 3 o'clock in the morning, I know you're coming for one reason. Especially if I canceled the ride and you reorder and come anyway. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. Learn to value you first. And then you wouldn't be going over to this guy's house at 3 o'clock in the morning. Okay. But then she also talked, but again, I was always saying he hung up on her a few times while we're on the way there. And that's what she was talking about. Like, see, look, look, he, he just hangs up on me. He's just, he's so mean. He's so, okay, learn to value you. And then you wouldn't be in those kind of relationships. But then she told me that this, he used to be her ex-boyfriend. And they just got back together a few months ago. And I guess they, they've been on an, They've been on, on on for a couple of months, but I guess they've been together for about three years or whatever. But she said the reason they broke up is because she caught him in bed with another girl on her birthday. <laughs> the, woo! Now, that's a birthday gift for you. But she caught him cheating on her birthday. And now she's back. Okay. This is where I'm talking about learn learn to value yourself and then she talked about the fact that um even the last time she was there last week the one she paid for the ride that 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 he told her he was gonna reimburse but she paid she's making up the bed and found some lashes in the bed and she's like whose lashes these and he's trying to tell her they're his i mean they're hers and she's like I don't wear these kind of lashes. She said, these are 99 cent lashes. I don't I don't buy these kind of lashes or whatever. But the bottom line is, you've already caught him in bed with another girl. You see lashes in the bed. And that's when she was starting to share with me, which was crazy. She was like, um, I told him he needs to learn how to cheat. And he needs to learn how to lie to me. I said, oh, so he needs to learn how to lie to convince you. She's like, yeah. And I can teach him, she said, because I'm good. I don't get caught. She said, I'm, I'm professional at, at lying. And she said, and I'm just sitting here like, Woo, okay. But she's like, yeah, I'm tr I, I keep trying to tell him you got to get better at this, you know. And it's like, so you want to get him, want him to get good at lying to you. And she's like, yeah, he needs to learn. I'm like, wow, folks. Okay, anyway, you guys got, I know you kind of got the idea. Something ain't right here, okay. And then um, she was talking about the fact that because he does all this cheating and she knows and this and that, and she's like, he don't realize that um, she's like, I, I'll sleep with his homie if he wants to play that game. And I'm just sitting here like, woo! Now, you guys know, I, I, I've done a video in the past where I talked about that because there are people that believe in that philosophy that if your partner sleeps around, they'll try to get back at their partner by sleeping with someone close to them. And a lot of people say it's revenge or it's payback. I just want them to feel what I feel or whatever. And, and I think personally, I, I, I still come back to how do you feel about yourself? If you understand and value yourself and know that you are your most valuable asset, ladies, really understand what I'm saying. You are your most valuable asset. 
You got to learn to treat yourself whatever you think is valuable. Taj Mahal, Lamborghini, Lexus, whatever you consider to be valuable. Understand you're more valuable. And to give your body away is to give people the keys to the Taj Mahal. Okay? Everybody can't just walk into the Taj Mahal. You follow what I'm saying? And you got to learn how to value yourself. And, and, and so to me, to turn around and just go to bed with someone else to get back at someone else, that's kind of that concept where, we, where you know, we've heard people say it's like giving someone, I mean, drinking poison and waiting for someone else to die. That's the same concept to me. It's like, why would you poison the most valuable thing you have, which is yourself, to get back at someone else? Really? Do you lack that much a uh, 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 value for yourself that you're willing to to give yourself away to someone else. See, that's why I, I always share with people that there's a difference between sex and intimacy. And a lot of people want to say I, I I make love, and I'm like, no, you're having sex. There is a difference, and you got to learn that just having sex. Oh, oh man, let me not get into that because it's a whole nother conversation. But but again, this is something a lot of people need to take into consideration. For those of you who think that it's no biggie, and when you sleep around, no biggie. It's just sex, and you understand that. Understand that the more that you're out here having sex, the harder it's going to be for you to get married or make your relationship work. Yes, that's true. I know people want to hear that, but that's real. Because you have too many people now to compare your partner to. You guys follow me? If you had someone that you guys did... On, you know some stuff in places you should that you know it's it's not supposed to be done you know like freaky stuff and then you get with what you consider to be the right person but in the bedroom they're not that kind of person put a strain on your on your marriage because you're thinking about that you're missing something because you have a partner that's not willing to do that so the more that you're out here sleeping around as people want to say i'm just testing you got to test the merchandise first folks it's garbage no you don't you get out there and you and your partner can learn these things together. Now, I'm not telling you when to do it, when not to do it, but I'm saying, but understand the more you do it, the harder you're going to make it on your future relationship with the person that you claim to be the one. But most importantly, value yourself and quit just sleeping around talking about it's just sex. But well, anyway, let me get off that subject. But anyway, <laughs> but she was talking about the fact, like I said, that she said she was sleep, she was sleep with his homie. And then she told me that, uh, his roommate actually was trying to hit on her. And I wonder why. I mean, if you could, all the stuff that I just shared with you guys, do you think the roommate has any respect for her? You follow me? And we know, obviously, he, he, he doesn't care about his boy because he's willing to try to sleep with, with his girl. And I know I've heard songs and you hear people talk about it and people go, well, I just couldn't help it, you know. And he's my friend. He's my home. Folks. That's the kind of friend. I don't need you as a friend. Really, I don't. Um, that's why I was sharing that with some guys. We were having a conversation one day, and they talking about, you know, the man code and the man club and all. I told them I ain't never been a part of the man code or the man club. I ain't asked to get in, and I ain't trying to get in because, like I shared with them, I said the same guys that are in that quote-unquote man club are the same guys that if I turn my back would try to sleep with my woman, my wife. Yep, same ones. Why do I want to be in a club that I can't even trust the members? You guys follow me? So I don't get caught in that. Well, it's the man code and, you know, men, we don't tell each other. Please. I don't participate. Okay? I'd rather like to tell friends and stuff, if you're cheating on your wife or something, treat me the way you treat your wife. Don't tell me nothing. I don't want to know. You see what I'm saying? Because I don't want to participate in the fact that, and especially if your wife is a friend of mine also, I don't even want to be a part of that. I don't want to smile in your wife's face knowing that you're out here sleeping around. But anyway. Woo! Y'all got me going. I'm on a whole nother conversation. But then the girl turns around and tells me next month she's going to Puerto Rico and she's going to block him on her social media because she's going buck wild. Hmm. Again, learn to value and respect yourself. So, um, and then the craziest part of all that, she was talking about, I don't need him. He don't even understand that. I don't need him. And I said, ah, you don't actually need him. But the way you feel about yourself is putting you in that position 
of needing him. You guys follow me? Because what I'm saying is you don't have to be with anyone. It is always a choice. But in her case, because of the way she feels about herself, she's willing to allow these things to take place in the relationship and still keep coming back. And that in itself is why people want to say he dishonors and disrespects her, which is true. But she is allowing that because of the way that she's, she's presenting herself. That's why the whole purpose of this video is learn to value and respect yourself. Then and only then can you expect that same treatment from others. Um, this kind of brings me, I guess, to the conversation too, where people will talk about, um, well, Ron, yeah, what we're talking about, that's that's the whole point of the nice guy thing, you know, where, where they get taken advantage of and stuff and they put up with all this and that. Folks, we gotta quit using that 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 myth and lie that we're telling people that we make it sound in our in our culture as if nice is a bad word. Like you don't want to be a nice guy. Nice guys finish last. I mean, it's amazing to me how nice is bad. <laughs> it's like I always thought nice was good, and nice is the way everybody wants to be. The misinterpretation is there's a difference between being nice. And being a person who is a pleaser because of the fact that they have a low self-esteem and therefore they put up with everything. That's why they're a pleaser because they want to, they'll do anything to, to get people to help them feel significant because they don't understand they are significant. You guys follow me on that? And so being nice is actually the way everyone should, be, that should be your default. You should automatically be nice. Just like when I hear ladies say, well, I have to be a B. No, you don't. Or guys saying I have to be a jerk. No, you don't. That's a choice that you're making. And you're justifying it. You don't have to be that way. Some of the greatest and nicest people I've ever met are people that have what we call it all. They have the money. They got the great relationships. They got the businesses. They got, they got it what we call it all. And they're some of the nicest people you ever want to meet. Because there's a difference between being nice and being a pushover or allowing people to, to, you see what I'm saying? Folks, you can stand up and have great character and great integrity and be a nice person. I don't know why we think they're different. You can, you always have to have lines on where people can go. As they say, you, you, you teach people how to uh, treat you. You can do that and still be nice. Don't misinterpret that. The whole idea, again, behind this conversation is learn to value, respect yourself, and then others will do that in return. And in this case, if you don't honor and you don't respect yourself, that's what you're going to get in return. You guys know we keep talking about it. What you put out, you get back. Everyone you meet in your life are the ones I should say that stay there because everybody will cross every different walk of life will cross your path but the ones that you're letting stay there are reflection of how you see yourself so in this case if you're having people that are dishonoring disrespecting you what that's telling you is you don't honor and respect yourself make that adjustment and then you'll start to surround your people that honor and respect you why because you won't ex accept anything else and folks you can be nice in that process so as you guys know it ain't right it ain't wrong it is my opinion uh now run over to ron simplify myers online again that's ron simplify myers online see all the things that i got going on and folks remember if you're not having fun you should be doing something else just remember the key as i'm always trying to uh, uh, share learn to love you some you Learn to value and respect you. And then those are the people, again, that will show up in your life. And you'll enjoy the journey that much more. There's nothing worse than, than not loving the person in the mirror. Because then you'll end up in the situation that we just talked about. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye.